Show out. The occupation! Shame on everyone who is supporting the war on Gaza. 
we would have saved more lives. But every day, we witness before our eyes many children dying because we have so limited supplies, so limited OR access, and so limited healthcare providers and whatever left in Gaza hospitals. I have seen a lot of suffering in many medical missions in war zone, but Gaza is different because it's a highly populated area. It's 10 by 4 kilometers, smaller than Greater Toronto. Most of the hospitals were systematically bombarded to push the patients and to push the physicians to go to South Gaza because they want Northern Gaza children to die. And despite that, despite that I met heroic physicians that they lost some loved ones, they lost their houses, but they still sleep in the hospital 24 hours working day and night to save lives. The, the children I met in the tents, thousands of tents, families surrounding the hospitals, they told me, when you go back to Canada, they gave me this, actually, I'm gonna be proud to wear it, and I promise the child will wear it. They told me, you are in the West, you have freedom. Please speak out for us. And please, and please continue to pressure your government and raise awareness about our uh, suffering and the atrocities that we are facing every day. And that's our duty. Whether it's minus five degrees, minus 20 degrees, we have to continue to push our MPs. Remember, the MPs are working for you. They are your representatives. Continue to bombard them with emails, with phone calls, with meetings, with interviews, until they call Israel to stop the war in Gaza. And finally, finally, I want to tell you that we were able to save lives and the moms, the families of the children that we were able to save, they are so appreciative to every and single one of you who are calling for ceasefire, who are doing their best, who are taking the streets down, who are doing whatever it takes to stop the bombardment and the airstrikes on their children and on their families. That's the message they gave me. I would like to thank you very much for your ongoing resilience for going down to the streets despite the weather, despite the cold weather. Please continue to push the MPs, the government, the officials to and ask for ceasefire until this happens. We have to do the same thing in all Western countries. May Allah bless you, may God bless, bless Gaza and bless the children of Gaza.
just want to reiterate and emphasize the tragic loss of Hamza al Dahdouh. A few hours before he ascended to martyrdom, he posted a message online showing gratitude towards his father. You are the patient and the one who seeks reward, my father. So do not despair of recovery and do not despair of God's mercy and be certain that God will reward you well for being patient. We lost this soul due to him being targeted by the Zionist terrorist regime whilst he was in a car. Allah yirhamu and may he be granted the highest levels of Jannah. In our battle to spread the truth and represent our beloved Palestine correctly, the use of language matters. With the media's bias against us, saying Palestinians are just dying or starving or freezing to death is unjust. Palestinians do not die, they are killed. Palestinians do not starve. They are malnourished by the imposed blockade. Palestinians do not freeze to death. They're deprived of adequate shelter due to the carpet bombing. Let me say that again. Palestinians do not die, they are killed. The bad news for the Zionist regime is that you cannot defeat a nation that knows death is just the beginning. A headline was released just four days ago by the New Yorker. The headline reads, Gaza is starving, not Gaza is being starved by the terrorist Zionist state. When you impose a blockade, when you refuse humanitarian aid in, destroy the agriculture through relentless carpet bombings, it's no longer Hazza is starving, it is that is starved. Another headline was released by our own CBC a few days ago that read, the killing of Palestinians does not merit terms murderous and brutal. So what does merit those terms? 10,000 wasn't enough. 20,000 wasn't enough. 30,000 was not enough. How many more innocent lives must be murdered by the terrorist Zionist regime for it to finally be labeled and recognized as murderous and brutal. When describing attacks executed by the IOF, the media uses terms such as intensive, unrelenting, and punishing. But when describing attacks, but when describing attacks by the Palestinian resistance, they've used terms like murderous, vicious, brutal, massacre, and slaughter. Language matters. The media's depiction of Palestinians matter. Amongst all the inaccuracies and the bias within the media against Palestinians, we must not forget the martyrs. The death toll of journalists has surpassed 100 now. How is this normalized? How do we continue to allow the truth to be silenced? These journalists fight every day and risk their lives to expose the truth of the terrorism executed by the settler colonial Zionist state. These are heroes and role models, and what they receive in return is a target on their back, a missile on their home, or a sniper bullet in between their eyes. The issue lies within what the media will have you believe. In a foolish attempt to disregard a long history of brutal occupation, apartheid, and settler colonialism. It's covered with this started on October the 7th. But, as we all know, the occupation
occupation of Palestine is now nearing a century ago. The targeting of Palestinian journalists existed prior to October 7th. This is just what the media wants you to believe. We live in the true North strong and free. It's a shame that this country is built on nothing but lies. Weak politicians who fail to say freedom is contingent on the color of your skin. Their institutions are set up to silence us. Their bills are passed to censor us from seeing the truth. But alas, we know the truth. It's time to set the record straight and reclaim our narrative, the Palestinian narrative.
دم الشهداء بغزة دم الشهداء بكل فلسطين وكل وطن عربي غالي علينا دم الشهداء بلبنان غالي علينا دم الشهداء باليمن غالي علينا دم الشهداء بالجزائر وبالعراق بكل وطن غالي علينا وعندنا مسؤولية هون احنا الشباب العربي بالشتات وبكل محل ان نواحد ضد الاستعمار نواحد ضد الاحتلال واجبنا ان نكون نكون مجتمع قوي نكون حاضنة شعبية زي ما هلا احنا هون حاضنة شعبية ضد الاحتلال ولتحرير فلسطين تحرير فلسطين كاملة بالروح بالدم نفديك يا فلسطين Toronto, how are you feeling right now? I can't hear you. Are you tired? Are you exhausted? Hearts are heavy. I don't know what to say. I don't know what to do. 93 days. Genocide, ethnic cleansing, occupation, fear, mixed feelings, anger, disappointment. But I know one thing. There are so many mixed feelings. Everything's all over the place. But I know one thing and one thing only. We gonna continue to shut the street.
الشاوي شاوي اخر فلسطين في غزه على ويكلي بيس على ديالي بيسز واز ات بروتست واز ات اون لاين بروتست واز ات دايركت اكشنز سيتنز اند سو ماني مور وانس مور ثانك يو اول فور شاوي اب وي نو اتس نو بت هي ستيل تشوز تو شو اب اللهم اغفر لنا وارحمنا اللهم اغفر لاهلنا في غزه امين اللهم اغفر لاهلنا في غزه امين اللهم اغفر لشهدائنا في غزه امين اللهم اغفر لهم وارحمهم امين اللهم اغفر لهم وارحمهم امين وعافهم واعف عنهم امين وعافهم واعف عنهم امين وأكرم نزلهم وأكرم نزلهم ووسع مدخلهم ووسع مدخلهم واغسلهم بالماء والثلج والبرد ونقهم من الذنوب والخطايا 
كما ينقى الثوب الأبيض من الدنس آمين اللهم إن كانوا محسنين فزد في إحسانهم آمين وإن كانوا مسيئين فتجاوز عن سيئاتهم آمين وإن كانوا مسيئين فتجاوز عن سيئاتهم آمين اللهم باعد بينهم وبين خطاياهم آمين كما باعدت بين المشرق والمغرب آمين كما باعدت بين المشرق والمغرب آمين اللهم باعد بينهم وبين خطاياهم آمين كما باعدت بين المشرق والمغرب آمين اللهم رب جبريل واسرافيل وميكائيل آمين اللهم رب جبريل واسرافيل وميكائيل آمين فاطر السماوات والارض فاطر السماوات والارض عالم الغيب والشهادة عالم الغيب والشهادة نسألك يا الله نسألك يا الله أن تنصر إخواننا في غزة أن تنصر إخواننا في غزة أن تنصر أننا المرابطين في غزة أن تنصر إخواننا المرابطين في غزة اللهم كن لهم عونا ونصيرا اللهم كن لهم عونا ونصيرا اللهم ارحم ميتهم اللهم ارحم ميتهم واشف جرحاهم واشف جرحاهم واشف جرحاهم واربط على قلوب احبتهم بالصبر والسلوان بالصبر والسلوان يا رب العالمين يا رب العالمين ومن 
منك الإجابة ومنك الإجابة يا رب العالمين اللهم أنت القائل اللهم أنت القائل ادعوني أستجب لكم ادعوني أستجب لكم اللهم إنا قد دعوناك اللهم إنا قد دعوناك ومنك الإجابة ومنك الإجابة ومنك الإجابة يا رب العالمين اللهم اجعلنا ممن يشهدون اللهم اجعلنا ممن يشهدون على تحرير فلسطين على تحرير فلسطين على تحرير فلسطين عاجلا غير آجل عاجلا غير آجل يا رب العالمين اللهم اكتب لنا صلاة في المسجد الأقصى اللهم اكتب لنا صلاة في المسجد الأقصى داخلين فاتحين محررين داخلين فاتحين محررين داخلين فاتحين محررين يا رب العالمين يا رب العالمين يا رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم وبارك على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين وآخر دعوانا أن الحمد لله رب العالمين